only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's meteorologist Jennifer Schaff. So did you get out there and enjoy the day yesterday? Did you get a walk in or maybe some... We, badminton. Um, in the uh, 23 degrees yesterday? or what it was yesterday? No, it was we, awful. We took down our Christmas stuff finally. Did you? I, I love it. You <laughs> know, had to happen. It's funny. I've been thinking, I think the, the Christmas lights are up a lot longer this year because but it's too cold to go out there and ready. pull them off the this house. This week will be good. Later this week, in reference to where we <sighs> just were, at least, it'll be yeah. good. We're going to um, get one of those big uh, events where. It feels so warm, even though you look it, at the actual temperature and, and you're like, I can't believe it's, it's this in the is 30s. Just kind of where we should be this time of yeah. year, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Before we get there, though, we do have one more system that, that's tonight into tomorrow morning, and then really a quiet week beyond this. So uh, we can look forward to that. We just have to get over this hurdle, and it will likely impact Monday morning commuters for tomorrow morning. Uh -oh. And if you're going to be out this evening, uh, you're going to have some impact as well. So temperatures right now still below freezing, but doing so much better than we have been the last couple of mornings. In fact, these are uh, similar. Similar to yesterday afternoon, high temperatures. We did drop off for the night a low of 16, and since then we've been climbing. But 25 now for Cincinnati. That's not bad, the official temperature, and we are keeping a very close eye on it because it's going to have a big impact, the air temperature, on what happens this afternoon as some moisture arrives and how cold we stay. If we can get above the freezing mark, then compare that to how cold uh, some uh, objects and roads still are from the deep freeze of the last couple of days. It's a freezing rain advisory on the southern tier of the concern area. That's the counties in pink, and that does include northern Kentucky, parts of Ohio, south central parts of uh, southwest uh, parts of uh, Ohio and Indiana as well. And then the purple counties, it's a winter weather advisory. Both of them starting this afternoon at 1 p.m., lasting till 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. The 1 p.m. time period, probably a little bit premature for a lot in the way of concerns yet. But as we head through our afternoon, moisture will arrive from the southwest, and we will start to see some freezing rain, sleet, uh, maybe even a little bit of snow mixed in at the onset. 25 right now, south wind at 10 miles an hour. That south wind may help us out today in terms of helping that temperature climb a touch. Right now, it is giving us a wind chill of 15. We have dry conditions for everyone, but we have seen an increase in clouds, but there's no moisture yet. Satellite and radar throwing some high clouds in from the southwest already here for the morning. That's also probably helping the temperature maybe trap just a little bit of warm air uh, as we bring in those clouds. Our moisture is still down across Arkansas, heading up into western parts of Tennessee and southwest Kentucky. It'll keep progressing our way into the afternoon. Not a lot before, I think, 3 and 4 o'clock. And we have to pause the model for the next time around. But I don't think we see a lot uh, through the after early part of the afternoon. Then as we head past 4 or 5 o'clock, we will start to bring in the moisture and it will likely be a mix at the onset. The farther north you go in the system, the better chance for more sleet and snow to be mixed in. The farther south, the temperatures will probably be a touch warmer and maybe just some plain old rain at times. It comes to an end tomorrow morning as a cold front comes through and the back edge of it will likely transition to some snow showers. And the farther north you go in the tri-state, we may see some light snow accumulation out of this tomorrow morning and we could also have some snow showers still coming down for the Monday morning commute. So I don't don't think it's done quite yet. It will come to an end as we head through the day. Drier air arriving from the northwest, and so quieter conditions than the second half of our Monday. And then that high pressure takes over for the rest of the week, and we should actually end up with lots of sunshine and more mild temperatures, or at least seasonable temperatures, into the week. But until then, for today, our south counties, the bit good chance for the rain to be mixed in with this. Not to say there will be some periods of freezing rain and sleet, uh, light icing a possibility, but this area is generally the location not included in the advisory. The freezing rain advisory area, we're talking some rain and some freezing rain mixed in, maybe glazing of ice, one, maybe two tenths on the high end for accumulation of ice potential. Our northern counties, freezing rain, sleet, and even some snow mixed in with some light snow potential of accumulation on top of it all. So the ground's so frozen because of the last couple of mornings, even if we get the air temperature above freezing, we may still freeze on contact uh, because the untreated surfaces could still be below freezing. What may help us out, that south wind potential today, edging up those temperatures. I did take the high above freezing briefly at 33. 35 tomorrow, a mix in the morning, some flurries possible. The rest of the forecast is dry. Temperatures are climbing up, but morning still in the teens, afternoons around 30. Most of the forecast next weekend, Saturday, back to 